What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a stipulation from Oral today. Oral stipulation, my son was born on Sunday. Draft a deck all about babies and cute little things. This was not this Sunday. This was a while ago. Uh, the, the previous Vintage Cube. And uh, we're going to do it now because Oral also sent a message. I don't know if it's still going to be up here, but it was kind of sad. Um... I need to pick me up with all the bummer news and holiday impacts. We run my cuties draft in the next few days. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it right now. How did we do in the last draft? We went 2-1. So, there's not going to be anything super cute in the, in the Vintage Cube. It's not a format that has a bunch of animals in it. So we're really going to have to use our own discretion. Um, I'm also, I don't know if we should limit cute things to like only animals. Because like... I don't think this is cute at all. This is not cute. It's terrifying. I would definitely say natural order is cute. Or, you know, this is this is cute. Um I don't think Karn is I think if I had to pick a cute card here, it's natural order. I mean I, I don't I I don't I don't want it to be contentious is the problem, right? God, none of these cards are cute. This is... <laughs> that's, that's a real problem with this stipulation, is that, like, the Vintage Cube, by and large, is all terrifying nonsense. And, um... It's not good. Honestly, this is probably the cutest thing in the pack. Not only is it green... Like, like if we just... I, I'm trying not to be biased since, like, draft a good green deck, right? But then again, like... Not cute. Maybe cute. Maybe cute, actually. No. Uh, no. Nope. It's a land. Can lands be cute? I don't know. Definitely not. Same thing with land. Little snake man. Mm. Little snake man with human hands, which is actually very unsettling. No, 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 and no. I I, I think we're just taking course through here. Because it's got, a, it's got a horse butt, and horses are generally cute. You know what else I should be doing? I should also be installing games on my PS5 right now. Technically, I guess artifacts could be cute, right? Like, you could say, like, oh, artifacts cute. Oh, this is an easy one. I didn't even look at all the picks. I knew this was an easy one. Guys, Grandpa Snake is easily adorable. Also, these are the hands that I would expect a snake to have. Not the Naga weird five-fingered hands. That just seems unsettling. The only other thing I can think would be cute is maybe the Pestermite. Thrag Tusk also has a baby, which is cute. I'm going to take this guy. Horses are not terrifying. Horses are wonderful. Um, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, obviously I want the Crater Hoof. Mm, uh, uh. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> okay, this a, yeah, installing games is definitely a byproduct that sucks, but on the bright side, a an advantage is that I don't have to put fucking 10 discs in. If I'm playing Mortal Kombat, I don't want to switch a disc out. I don't want to get up, take the disc out, put it back in its case. But we've done this before. I've done this physical media thing. I'm taking Crater Huff. He's a clumsy goof. He is kind of a clumsy goof. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I think that I think the green deck is predisposed to being cute. But like, yeah, if I can install 10 games on my PlayStation and then never have to have a disc again, like that's just where I'm at. I don't want to have to get off the couch just because I want to switch discs. Or if I'm laying on the couch and I decide, hey, I want to play some Red Dead Redemption 2, but the Spider-Man disc is in there. Dang it. I just don't want to get... I, I, it's just so much better for me to not have to do that. You know what I mean? Like, for me personally. This is an interesting pack. Man. Nope. Okay, like, let's be clear. There's nothing cute in this Vintage Cube, right? Like, we're stretching all of these. Tireless Tracker, actually, relatively cute. Like, in an attractive way, though. Not like in a... Not like in a, aw, oh, isn't that adorable way, right? Like, this is a... This is, I think this is actually a female character in here. 
How do I pop that out? Can I not do that anymore? That's weird. That's just ru that they just removed that feature. I kind of want to take Progenitus though. No, middle click zooms, but I want to actually like pop out the card so that I can view it. Okay, here's the thing. I also love rats. I used to have two fancy rats, and they were wonderful. They were great. But the rats on Pack Rat, not cute. Eh. Eh. I really want this Primeval Titan. No. Definitely not. God, no. Eh. Eh. Revoker is kind of cute. Mm -mm, disagree. Disagree. I'm gonna take Titan. I'm just gonna veto. Like this, I'm not. I'm not admitting that this is the cutest card in the pack, but I don't think there's any real winners in this pack. Look, there's just nothing. None of these cards are cute. It's so ridiculous. We're almost like changing the stuff to be like, all right, draft a. Uh... Draft, draft a green deck instead. Like, no. Nah. I don't even know what you are. There's nothing going on here. This dude's, uh, this dude is attractive. Same with probably Leovold. I'm gonna take Sig, I'm gonna take Signet because it's like, that was a cute little, that was a cute little Signet. It doesn't do anything. Like, I, I obviously want Garrick here, but like, No. Like, even the animals in the background of this are just really scary looking. They're not even cute. This guy's... This guy's... It's cute because he's furry, but he's also ferocious. So it's like, well... No. Garrick makes beasts, which could be cute. He makes, he makes little cuties. Yeah, we're gonna go with... That's like the closest I can get here. Hey, the Nissa. The Nissa I said was cute in pack one. Came back. Also Metamorph, but if we're going for cuties, like Nissa's definitely cuter than Metamorph. Like, not close. However, I think Metamorph is better. I think Nissa is more. Stippier, Stipperino. This was also a card that I was like, kind of like, I guess you're kind of like a cute ghost. These are not animal cuties. These are just like people cuties, right? Like where I'm like, okay, you're cute. Like this is just a weird snake with fingers again don't like it nope yeah it's got to be this it's got to be skyclave apparition oh the thrag dust came back perfect for pack one i think this is as cute as we can get like even for the primeval titan pick like if i take anything else it's only marge it's marginally cuter right like not even this is these are human beings that are not dead or melting so i'm just gonna take that <laughs> that's like all you can really ask for same with blade splicer Mox Emerald would be adorable. Adore. <laughs> if nothing else, I, f I hope we're having fun with this stipulation. Oh, look, this Eidolon came back. Wow, look at our mono white deck. Hmm. What is the time? 1.30? <sighs> Stoneforge Mystic, relatively cute. I should definitely, we should definitely make an exception for lands at some point, because there's no way lands are going to be cute. Um, I think we just take Stoneforge here. I can see it. Scary abandoned tombs are cute. <laughs> I appreciate Oral being uh, also very, very, uh, very, very lenient on the definitions of cute here. We're going to take Stony Bay. Hmm. Nothing great here. You're kind of ferocious. You're cute. I think it's actually this guy, because I don't even, like... Not only does it also make 3-3 three, three cuties, but, like, it's it just doesn't look very... It looks like it's just having a good time. I'm going to take the Elder Gargaroth. Okay, I do like Coalition Relic. These horses are actually not ferocious, and they're pretty cute. 
this one's a little more terrifying. Uh, this is this is wall of root, not wall of cute. So not. I think we're just taking the relic, I guess, or the wall, or the relic. I don't know. Oh, the gilded goose is actually probably the cutest, right? Like that's the just just actually cute. Let's just take the goose. That seemed like an that seems like a pretty easy thing to to take here. Oracle could be cute. Hmm. I don't actually think this guy's cute. This guy looks like Beast from like Beauty and the Beast. It's the ooze. It's definitely not the ooze, right? Like, I think it's just Oracle here. Chandra's pretty cute. But, like, we're just not going to play Chandra, right? Elves are cute. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, God, look, it almost took the Chandra. Um, It's not Banishing Light. Can't even see this person. Spirit's kind of cute. Avenger makes babies, which is kind of a big deal. That It's kind of a bunch of plant babies, which is pretty cute. Like, this is just reproduction, right? Like... Yeah, we're just going with Avenger. Oh, Nissa. Nissa's real cute. Nissa as not only a cute character for the second time, but also makes three threes. Also makes babies. I think there's a lot of the, the reproductive synergies. The the reproductive uh what do you call it? The theme for green is also very, very uh on brand for the stiff, I would say. This streaming at a reasonable hours during the day is really throwing me off when it comes to watching your... Should I stream at unreasonable hours? That's better, you're saying, right? Well, that was the point, right? Like, you had a baby, so that we did a stip. And now... How's the baby doing, by the way, Oral? How's the wee one doing? And what is his or her name? Oh, your son... So how is how, what is his name? <laughs> You're like his, his name is Oral. Um, <laughs> you know what, man? I want to tell you tell you what this art's actually relatively cute. This guy's kind of like just plow. These are plow beasts, and this guy's just going to work on them. Um, otherwise it's like Kaya, Brimez. None of these are... No, we're just taking the plow under. You know how we do. Harrison Cooper Oral. Is Oral your last name? Did I not know that? Also, Harrison's a great name. Harrison's a very underrated name. Oh, Jesus. Good lord. Oh, God. Linval, pretty cute. Um, Blood Braid Elf, not, not so much. A little too jagged of features, I would say. Oh, Harrison Cooper Oral, you're just memeing back. I got you. So I was like, is Oral your last name? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, Cultivate's not necessarily cute. I think Linval is probably cuter. So we'll take the Linvala out of uh Razor Ridge think it's pretty good actually. If we're if we're playing I'm playing the Stone Forge or the Skyclave. I don't I think Hex Drinker, but I don't think it's uh Um Elspeth or Old Man? I'm gonna take Old Man. Old Man's cute. How is your child's middle name not Ford? Harrison Ford Oral would have been a great name. Grandpa's are cute. <laughs> yeah, he marks the end of the life cycle as well. So it's we got a whole life and death theme in this in this draft.
Oh, Knight came back and Hero came back and Wall of Roots came back. Wall of Roots came back. I think Knight of Autumn is the cutest card of the of the three, and it's also pretty good. Nope, you're out. I'm gonna take Scavenging Ooze. It seems fine. Spirit was on our list. Sure. Oh my god. Oh my god, Findor and Elves came back? Also not not terrible. The first two and the last two letters of Cultivate do spell cute. That's amazing. the moment the regret set in. Seriously? Come on. I gotta pass a Mox Emerald in my mono greenish deck. It's, it, no, there's no way it's Mox over Sol Ring. It's never anything over Sol Ring. Two mana is cuter than one mana. Oh, God, it felt so bad. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. I didn't feel good about that at all. Sword is not cute. I think Survival is probably the cutest card in this pick. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll wheel. <laughs> That's such an obvious joke. I don't know why that was even funny to me. I don't even know why I laughed, but it did. I mean, are we just cutting the white, maybe? I could see playing knight. Yeah, let's just take survival. Like, this wolf is actually kind of cute. Lady's not, not bad. Sword does make cuties. I think this... Look at these two monks. These monks are very cute, I think. Also not bad terrifying a little tough you're fucking weird uh minotaur now building this guy's angry uh, okay this is mildly cute despite it being goblin weirdos yeah we're just gonna take Sylvan library oh Rafelos is winning this without even having a discussion simply because of how jovial look how jovial he looks Rafelos is the jo most jovialest, happiest elf there is, and that's adorable. Done. But that's the point. Like, don't worry, I'm sure it'll wheel. Like, we both know it's not going to wheel. And saying, like, a good card is going to wheel is not... It's not a good joke, right? But I still laughed at it, and I, that's what I don't understand. Like, it's super, like, not... <laughs> It's like if someone, if someone like, plays the lottery and their, their friend is like, don't worry, I'm sure you'll win. Like, obviously it's not going to happen, right? It's just the most obvious thing that's not going to happen. But, it's just funny. I don't know why, the, I don't know why I laughed. Oh, Lana War Elf? Remember this guy is cute. I don't think there's anything even cuter, to be honest with you. Resto's Resto would be up there. Resto for sure. I don't think Wall of Blossom is that cute. It's I, I think this would be cuter if it wasn't like literally devouring this human being. Yeah, we're gonna go with the elf. Boy. This deck actually looks good. It's relatively cute. No, no, no. A candidate. Not really. No, 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 no. Yes. 
I think this is... And we can easily look. This is nice because it slots. We can just take the Knight of Autumn out. And then we just got this in here. Cue Mog. Oral, you're not even playing by your own rules here. But I think I think we're being I think we're having a good time anyway. To be honest, I thought this would skew white more so pleasant. I I think naturally it would because white is often the color of like cats and like dogs and things like that. But I don't think there's a lot of those in this cube. I think in general white would be the color of cuteness. I think in this cube though, not so much. Oh, Grandma Boofy, eight months. Oh man, I love it. Grandma Boofy, I appreciate you. Crater Hoof and Frank, two great tastes that taste great together. I'm going to take Huntmaster. It's got a cute wolf in it. And it's great Magali art. And, I, and that's just all I need, so. Lil Pyro's cutest? Done. Uh, Gaia's Cradle. Thank you! Actually, the funny thing is I was like, Gaia's Cradle's the cutest because it's the best land. But also there's like this little fairy here, you know? And that's really adorable. So I'm going to take this Gaia's Cradle. To go with this for fellows and this crater hoof. So I think Bitter Blossom's art style, I think this is actually pretty cute. This is a cute little little fairy. But also, P and Kieran Alar. Very cute. Cute couple. The Emerald did not wheel, it's true. I'm gonna go with P and Kieran Alar. I think Yorion is probably the cutest thing in here. This is just a cute little dragon. It actually looks very wholesome. It doesn't look like murderous. It doesn't look manipulative. Mom and dad for the baby stip. Oh, birthing pod for babies. That would have been good too. I was on cutie. You were on reproduction. We just weren't. Um. Made an argument for devoted to four. Again, like none of these are. Nope. Okay. Devoted to it is. Probably going to take Survive. Uh, well, actually, Scooze is more of a sideboard card. Oh, Heartbeat Springs in there. Get out of here. Everything else is good. I was hoping that Progenitus tabled, but no. Look at this old grandpa. Grandpa. Cute grandpa. I mean, these two are working in tandem. That's kind of cute. It's way more cute than Inferno Titan or Fire Blast, so... Angry Dragon. Yeah, God. It's really it's really six of one, half dozen of another. Yeah, Huntmaster came back. Not even gonna play it. Just satisfied about its cuteness. This actually turned out pretty good. The devoted druid, the The Devoted Druid tabling, the uh what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Would Grandpa be considered? Yeah, of course. Your Grandpa's cute. Um... I do wish we had another, like, top-end card, but I think it's okay. We can natural order in a Crater Hoof, Avenger, or Primeval Titan, which is totally fine. I think we do just add 16 land and call it a day, one of which will be this Gaia's Cradle. All right, let's do it. Also, Oral, here's hoping we 3-0 with this beautiful, beautiful piece of work. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, baby, do you understand me now? It's good -do 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 -do. Have you ever guilt a goose, <laughs> buddy? You don't want to know. You don't know. I want to know my my gill scooting like go gooting. Not th nothing I said there was... Oh, God. Ugh, God. I'm going to keep this. They went to six. We're on the draw. We need one land to play Courser. And then we can go. Out, we can be off to the races. 
And we can just top deck Sol Ring as well. So, 1 in 33 chance, guys. Kills Guting sounds like some German stuff. That's a Dwight Schrudism, I'm sure. Every Thanksgiving, we would go Gills Guting. Wow. A bold strategy, Cotton. Baby. Do you understand me now? Bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. You know, guys, that song? I mean, we're definitely getting a land here. Come on, third land. That's not what we're looking for. Wow, that strip mine really, uh, really put us in a, in a headlock here. We're probably going to be dead. What a miserable combination of cards. I mean, to be fair. It's the Vintage Cube. That's not super easy to assemble. Thanks. So it's like, well, okay. Born, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Really appreciate the resub, my dude. All right. Well, they didn't discard any creatures here, but now they have another chance. And then they can, like, exhume? Huh? They can reanimate. Emrakul. If they animate dead, we actually have Rex Age, which is kind of cool. I see. Well, at least we get a tri builder. We got a couple turns, literally two. Four mana, huh? Well. One, two, three, four. Okay. It's got trample. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. I guess we're going to go seven. Mm, okay. Hit a land. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the game. Need to gain five life or be able to chump for five. This is it. One, two, sack. Two to sec. Block here for three. Or for two, we take eleven, then we gain three. We go to okay, so we're Nope, that's not that's not gonna do it either. Okay. What if we make a Garrick untap two? Use those two to crack the food. Block here. Mmm. It's exaxes. Okay. Okay, I understand. I see. I will bring in scavenging news. I almost kind of like Spirit of the Labyrinth here. We have Signet. We bring in Razor Verge Thicket. And like two forests. Or by forest, I mean plains. And then we can take out. 
Take out. Well, I like. Uh, uh, I like Rex Sage. Take out Yav my Elder for Spirit. You know what? Sure. On the play, you got it. How cute does that ooze look now? Bell of the ball, I would say. You know? Yeah. Just gorgeous. Well, we need a black splash and a white splash, and that's literal... It's a little super difficult. Let's draw a Courser. We have tons of three drops. Third turn Nissa seems pretty juicy. Unless they him to Torak us. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh, you're going to make us discard a card. Deal. That's... It's a lot worse. I mean, we have to discard Plow Under, I think, here. Maybe Primeval Titan. I don't know. Guess we're not discarding anything. So they're not even going to plus lay on here. Got it. We're going to attack a Liliana too, just in case. I don't know if you have a removal spell like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 12 mana for next turn. It's pretty good. Oh, a Null Priest of Oblivion. Your favorite and mine. You have something to cast here. Oh, yeah. Untap this guy. Attack with everyone. I mean, if you want to trade here and take nine, that's fine. I guess they only take seven, actually. Okay. Man, this is a hell of a card. I kind of like Night of Autumn, too. Maybe Spirit's not great. Maybe Night of Autumn's better. Like, I mean, we're just playing around, like, Bazaar of Baghdad, right? Like, when you play, play Bazaar, like, being able to prevent their extra draws from Bazaar is pretty good. But they still get to discard, which is still a relevant part. Whereas Night of Autumn is nice because it still kills, like, Mox. And I have to assume that they do have either Animate Dead or Necromancy in there somewhere. Uh, definitely keeping this. <laughs> Sand seems great. This is a very cute hand as well. Him to Torok. Damn it. That's so bad, dude. <sighs> yep. They might actually toss Primeval Titan and then reanimate it. That would actually be insane. 
No, they're just getting rid of Sylvan Library. And killing. Okay. Hand is actual trash. Hand is a little better now. Oh my goodness gracious. Is this what it's like to win the lottery? Oh god, next turn we get to go... Thank you! Primeval Titan? One, two, three, four, five, six... We can just actually play Crater Hoof, untap a land? Oh god, and I have no non-basics for you? Oh boy. Oh boy, I just get to keep the Crater Hoof? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goblin Papa, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Half a year. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they're at one. <laughs> That's pretty good. I was just trying to figure out the, the best way to do this. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, good game, sugars. Sugars. All right, Crater Huff is still fucking phenomenal. Unbelievable. Oops, you were at one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Music Manly. That was super quick, dude. I don't love this hand, but I'll, 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 go, I'll roll with it. We're on the draw. I think we can draw one or two drop. What do you guys think? Probably not? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's good. That's much better, actually. I like this hand as a friend. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to do us dirty. I dropped her off and her mom took her. Oh, okay. It's all making sense now. God, I'm learning so much about the inner workings of Music Manly's family. The pro dad move. Have mom do it. Don't really want to take four here. I 
I feel like we're dead. It's not looking good. Yeah. What cube would be a better cute stip target? Uh, oh, because in 10 months my kid has his first birthday. I have no idea, actually. I mean, we could also draw the Ugin and five more lands. I think that would probably do it. I'm going to go to the next game. I think actually playing this out is just an exercise and I think it's I think we're being a little cute by playing this out. <laughs> I don't think I'll plow under for Thrag Tusk here. Um I do kind of like Knight of Autumn to be honest. And that's probably fine. Oh no, I didn't cut anything for Night of Autumn. Oh, let's take out Survival. I'm just not impressed with Survival. Oh, it's too late. So it'll be in our opening hand. <laughs> hand is still good. Accidental 41. It's true. Okay, this is actually great. What's this going to be? A Leon and Relic Order? A hanger back for one? Shoot. You're already dead. Oh, wow. Kind of like that. Um, we're gonna play you and a forest. I'm probably just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep an extra card here. We got a Thrag Tusk and a Knight of Autumn in hand. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I will use that. Before this gets out of hand. Uh, F6, what do you, more do you want from me? My cup do runneth over. I got so many, so many runovers here. giver of man and they're gonna port my land Ugh, what an unfun thing to do you got it give me a soul ring on the top oracle moldiah dang it put you on top So 
So we can either play survival and discard something, or we can just play Tribelder here. Guarantee us. Yeah, I like that. I like that better. <clears throat> Get in there. Because next turn it lets us play either Thragtusk, Oracle, or Garrick. Okay, this is something that Chris just showed me. Oh, God. It's not stream appropriate. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dying here. Oh, my God. During the cuties draft, no less. God. This is where they play... Hero of Blade Hold. No? Okay. Let's get a forest here. I'm gonna tap your Razor Verge thinking again. Okie doke. Oof. Oh, big oof. Oh boy. Whew. Whew. I kind of feel like we just want to gain five here. And that's how babies are made. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Or here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this in hand. Choose two cards. This one. Put on top. Put on top. And then we're going to draw those four cards anyway. Or those two cards anyway. Boop. And boop. And another white. We can play this guy. You're not going to... Really? We're just trading here? Oh, we're not trading. That's cute. Okie dokie, Smokey McJokey. I have no idea what that means, just so you know. Oh, something's happening here. Spectral? Sure. I mean, I'm just taking three. I'm not getting rid of Oracle Modaya here. What do you, you got? Your mind? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, put on top. Put on top. Six, seven, eight mana total. This is nice. This guy. Gain a life. Gain a life. One, two, three. We can, we can actually just... Oh my god. We can actually just search for friggin' Crater Huff next turn. We can play Garrick and then play Knight. Garrick just dies to the spirits, though. I do kind of want to get ahead in life here. This guy seems good. Sure. <clears throat> OMG, it's La Pizza. Michael La Pizza up in the chat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know why. I thought we only had... Yeah, I knew, I knew Honor of the Pier was coming. So I was like, well, we got to figure out a way to, like, mitigate this game in such a way that, like, we don't die to Honor of the Pier. And we do have this Night of Autumn, which we've been saving for just such an occasion. Yep, we'll take seven. They have two cards in hand. I don't think anything's gonna like if we just search for like Crater Huff here, I don't think anything's gonna really get in our way. Yep, you got it. 
Oh, a Raphelos. Okay, well that's a that's a way to search for Crater Hoof as well. Um, <clears throat> huh. So six, seven, eight. We can go one, two, three, four, five. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight mana. Okay, we're gonna put you back. And put you back. He sees it. All right, so <clears throat> uh, it's really frustrating. So we have we have eight mana right now, and we have to use one of it for this. That is unfortunate. I mean, uh, but I don't want to, like, if we don't hit a land, we die. We die to the stupid thing. But we don't have any white left anyway, so we can't actually cast this. So, what we're going to do is risk it for the biscuit. Let's see. Eh. No, I mean, <laughs> It's got to be this guy, and then we die. Hmm. That was unfortunate, huh? Huh, 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 huh. So, we're one mana shy, huh? And then I got two, four, six, seven. And then... <sighs> Pitching who for Gargroth is rough. Okay, that's actually pretty good. All right. <clears throat> well, we're not dead yet. Don't even want to attack because of the stupid... Can't you just restoration your Thrag Tusk? Not yet but maybe in the future. Why does it keep resetting to this stupid size? It's such a weird size to have it default to. Oh, what up, Badger? Sphinx's Rev was a solid card. In the sense that, like, it wasn't too good. Yep, that's fine. I'm surprised how good this Giver of Runes is against us when we have a... Uh, a mono green deck. Yep, Containment Priest is pro-green. Is this guy green? I don't think they make them green. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, solid. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. Oh man, and now the hoof is in the graveyard? Jeez. That's sad.
Hmm. Put you on top. Put you on top of that. That is a lot of mana. Let's easily pitch elves. How's Miles Morales? It's actually fantastic. I mean, if you like the original, you'll like the, the new one. And we could also play this land off the top. Oh, Jesus. And that elf is back. So we're taking what, seven in the air? And we're at 12? I think we actually ultimate this turn because these guys are gonna kill them anyway next turn, but we're gonna lose the Garrick next turn. The, the problem is they have a bunch of creatures that can actually kill Garrick, and we only have one creature with reach, so. We're just going to ultimate now. Gargaroth can block one of them, yes, but if they attack with all three, then Garrick still dies. Whereas, yes, correct. Uh, ultimate now forces bad blocks. I am actually going to just gain three here. Nah, yeah, I, we, have a, we have enough on board. The only thing I'm afraid of is, like, give all my guys pro green or some bullshit, so. Because, I mean, this is pretty good. This is a 9-9 nine, nine with trample, 8-6 with trample, 5-5, five, five, 6. And, like, we still have a bunch of 6-7s on the board, so I'm not, like... Oh, no, they're 3-4s, they're, they're but they're going to be... Oh, we just win the game. I don't, we're still going over it. All of my legal targets game pro green. Well, I'm just thinking like, you know, brave the, brave the, brave the, what's that card called? Brave the elements? Nailed it. I would, we were tempted to almost cut Natural Order than Survival because Natural Order is kind of a trap when they have... Because if, if we go Natural Order and they go Containment Priest, it's pretty bad. Yeah, the card that's not on the cube. Everybody knows that. I almost kind of like Linvala. It blocks their flyers and it shuts down their... Their, uh... Their 1-2. Plow Under doesn't seem great because they play with so few lands. You know what I mean? Like, all their spells are like 1-2-3 drops. So, like, if you're, like, on turn 4, if you're, like, putting two lands back, it's like, oh, Okay. Yeah, I think Linval is good. Take out survival anyway. I want to keep this because one land lets us play Devoted Druid. Did I miss the Spider-Man Legacy Cube Draft? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, first turn for that guy. Oh, nice. That's that's what we're talking about. That 
that guy's good. It's an easy attack because they can protect the vanguard in other ways. Oh. Oh boy. Well, that's beautiful. One, two, three, four. So we could just go Titan next turn? Yes. Excellent. Uh, I'll take three. Boy, Soul Ring is the hell of a drug. You guys ever cast the Soul Ring before? It is wild. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. We can also go six and then just play Primeval Titan and then Cradle for two. <clears throat> what does that do for us? One, two, three, four, five. Keep this untapped. Okay, this is actually going to be bananas, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Right, we play Nyssa. Add two, untap it, add two. Uh, right, okay, but so so here's the thing. This is actually going to be a good turn. Nyssa. Tap. Make a guy. Play Cradle. Tap for two. Tap it. Primeval Titan. Yes. Forest, forest. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Avenger of Zendikar next turn? Let's talk about that. Magic the Gathering is a hell of a drug. Nyssa and... Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. I'll pay one more. You got it, champ. That seemed ridiculous. It felt ridiculous. Is the white card that goes infinite? No. Alright, so that's fine. Well, I'm definitely blocking this guy, so... This is a good attack, though, because, I mean, like, it forces us to... Are they both going in Nissa? Nissa. N These are both going at me? Wow. I mean, I'm just going to block here because I don't think Avenger of Zendikar is not going to give a shit about cat soldiers in the future, so. All right. Three, four, five, six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this makes four guys. I think we just play land first, make an extra guy. Um, let's actually use this one. To tap this. Yeah, we're definitely killing the Eidolon with the Rex Sage. Okay. Always yes, and also always yield. I do not see a situation where I'm not going to be putting those into play. We're also not attacking with our 3-3 when they have a 3-4. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Nissa and Primeval Titan. Two great tastes that taste great together. Did 
this is this where the two O happens? I mean, I think Giver of Runes and Brimaz is they're they're good cards, but <laughs> oh, Watson. Okay, you're saying picture Watson on the bin. Okay. You think they got settled the wreckage? I personally don't. Is settle in the cube? Oh, it's not in the vintage cube. Ba -ba 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 -bum. See what happens here. Oh, dang it. We use alpha, right? Like I'm trying to think of what they could possibly have. <laughs> okay, well I I think I think there's less things now. You can stay. Everybody else is getting in there. One and a two. So these guys are all four fives? Yeah, they're just dead. If you could direct a move at any superhero that doesn't have one already, who would it be? This is an ambitious block. I, I appreciate that. I mean, we're not going to be able to kill the Brit Man, so we'll just kill the one one. Um, these aren't these are forest elementals and not forest plants. Any superhero? Yeah, give that guy protection. Okay. Why are we, why are we wasting this time? <laughs> Negative thirteen, bro. Come on. Come on. With that match, White got ejected. <laughs> uh, I mean, not no. Spider Gwen's not a. I'm not a huge. I, I love Spider Gwen, but I'm not like. She doesn't like. Re it's not a character that actually resonates with me. Oh God. Oh Lord. Jesus. Oh, I mean, obviously Moon Knight. I think 100% Moon Knight. Go ahead, kill this guy. I dare you. God, they're going to. I think, I feel a, tr I feel a cute trophy coming, bro. Oh, white red, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that's a thing. Oh god, just let me untap. Trump's conceding maybe? What? Is there news happening? Uh, I'll take three. Don't kill my Rafaela. Oh my god, really? This is the turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. One, two, three, four. We have six mana off the bat. He missed time. It's a Trump's conceding his Hearthstone match. Oh, that makes sense. That checks out. One, four, Barackle, free land. Oh, guy's cradle next turn. That's just. That's just the tits. Okie dokie. I 
Okay. I'm just like, oh wait, can we block with tireless tracker? And then oh, they they figured it out. They're like, wait, he can do that. Yep, I'll take three. Survival? Survival goes west? So we just get Crater Hoof and kill them, right? Oh god, Crater Hoof's a hell of a drunk. Oh, they've, they've conceded. <laughs> it's okie dokie. Good times. Man, I shit on Survival of the Fittest a bit, but... How much damage is this? What? 11, 21, 29, 36, 43? They could block one. Okay. Yeah. Nerf cutie. <laughs> Cutie's OP, bro. Alright, so... I mean, probably Thrag Tusk. They seem like they're a more aggressive deck. And I'll take Plow Under out again. Good god. That was turn four? No way, right? Forest, Tracker, Tracker... Oh god, that was turn four? Oh, this hand is bananas. Jesus. We're probably going to play Elf first because it, it taps for mana on turn two, whereas this taps for mana on any turn. So, like, they're both going to cost one mana whenever we play them, but this we can use immediately and this we can use on turn two. Does that make sense? Turn one Elspeth is pretty sweet. Jeez. Okie dokie. Well, that's... It's not bad. I don't know. We, I don't know how we deal with that actually. So next turn we can go land soul ring. Devoted to course of crucifix, I guess. Elspeth being at 6 when we have very little pressure is not ideal. We could also just go Druid. Do they have a 1 drop here? They do. They sure do. Badger, I'm missing facts of the day here. Facts of the day. Pangolins do not have teeth. Instead, they eat small stones and let them rattle around in their stomachs, slowly crushing their food into bits. What kind of a weird evolutionary feature is that? Several animals can regenerate lost limbs, but the severed limb of some sea star species can grow a whole new body. That I did know. That I did know. Okay. Can we go Soul Ring, Celestia, Signet, Courser here? We can't play Thrag Tusk. Yeah, let's do this. I'm sure there's going to be a land on top. Oh, that's... Eh, I don't know. <laughs> that's something, I guess. Last fact of the day. Taking a hot bath for an hour burns as many calories as going for a half an hour walk. Really? That's interesting. I'm like really uncomfortable with this Elspeth here at six, going up to seven. Wait, what? <laughs> Gotta be more specific, Christopher. Belanja Joe, what up? Oh, Nissa seems juicy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually just play these two. This is at two, so there's no way they can pump it to five and then also... Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's a chump block. Are there any DC comic characters you're like? Uh, I'm not a huge... I, like, I love, D, I love DC when I was growing up. But I've just become a, a much larger Marvel fan. And, um... Like, if I, if, if I had to choose DC characters, I would definitely choose Martian Manhunter, uh, Dead Man, and Green Lantern are three of my favorites. So, one... Two, two. Getting Fokker is pretty good. Favorite non Marvel, non DC comic series? Jeez. I don't actually read a lot of non independent series. Why the Last Man was amazing. Nope. That's Vertigo, isn't it? Dang it. Yes, that was Vertigo, which still counts as DC. Yeah, I just don't care about Hellboy or Grendel or anything like that. Like they just don't they just never really caught me. Catch me outside, how about that? It's funny because I'm struggling to even think of like a, a non Marvel, non DC series that, that, that like really grips me. Farside, I love. I'm a huge Farside fan. Okay, Elspeth is on eight. We are going to have four attackers. They can block all three of them. Not ideal. <sighs> it's rough. Um, this is actually pretty annoying. This guy's first strike too? Come on. Is the actual Preacher comic? Preacher is fantastic, yes. Preacher was one of the first, like stories I, I actually read from a non-Marvel, non-DC company and it was fantastic. I've heard nothing but good things about Saga as well. It's on my list of two reads. Um, I mean, they're going to trade with one of these two, so I'm not going to... So they probably go block here, block here, shoot here, block here, right? Okay, different than I thought, but basically same same oh they didn't shoot the elf that's great oh wow I just got a free elf out of it I mean if actually if they want to ultimate like Elspeth here that's kind of fine oh they can't actually they have to go one more oh they, did Elspeth just take a point yeah because they, they didn't hit this guy interesting They've missed two land drops so far, which is actually good for us. I mean, they could make this guy float and attack Nissa for three, but then they're pretty exposed if they don't have anything else. They might just have a hand of four plus drops. 
Yep. Yeah, this is pretty good. But if they don't have anything else, we still get to kill Elspeth. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a Gargaroth when you need him. I guess we'd just be chum blocking if we had a Gargaroth. <laughs> What's a plus drop? I hate you so much. Real mature, Belang Joe. Real mature. Oh, they did have one more. All right. Well, at least we get to hit Elspeth for a bunch. Might as well get like beast here. Untapping doesn't do anything, and they can just kill it. I mean, if they draw a white source, they can literally put this guy to a uh, 4 4 double striker, give it float, make it a 7 7 double striker, and attack us for 12 or 14. But. And then they can just shoot us with like a lightning bolt if they have it. God, this turn on Elspeth has been a real problem. Excuse me while I float this guy. Bear, 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 bear. Oh boy. Okay. God, this is just like brutal. Ravages and Geddon. And they, they A, don't have four mana, and B, we have two artifacts. That's, oh, they're just going face here? Hmm. Interesting. Did you read the 29 in Marvel series? Um. Oh. This is wild. Um. Hmm. This is pretty crazy, actually, because now we can kill Elspeth. Huh. Attack Elspeth. Attack your face. We're going to keep Thragtus back because it's a great blocker here. What up, Dobby? Probably just want to make another guy, right? Untapping lands doesn't do much, but... I do want another blocker for Needle Spires. I didn't add black or blue. 
And the rap says, leave you black and blue, like the dark slick shores. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Okay, this guy's gonna be big. Oh, he's finally a 4 4 double striker. Now we're just chump blocking this guy for the rest of the game. All this guy does is make my Oracle unable to block, which I'm definitely not blocking with anyway. This guy costs six, so they're not even close. This is very confusing. I don't even know what's happening right now. Land. Gain a life. Land. Gain a life. Land. Gain a life. Going through the. Oh, we're just going to hit Primeval Titan next turn? deal one two three four this is nine till this is 13 damage and then we get to gain three life as well I'm just gonna make another beast we have two blockers this guy is an eight so we go to five we could also just go to eight. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're gonna have enough to kill us this turn. They'd have to be able to remove both these blockers. They can kill one with the with the shrine, which costs three, and then like yeah, they're just they just don't have enough mana to do like bl remove blocker, remove blocker, and deal an extra like eight damage. Guys, I think we're going to 3-0. Oh, 3-0 with the cutie draft. Oral, thank you so much for the support, my dude. Really, really appreciate it. You love to see it, as they say. Really, really sweet victory there. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to support the channel, definitely check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service for 15% off with the link and promo code down below. You can also subscribe, follow, donate for a stip, whatever you guys want to do. Having a good time with the Vintage Cube, so that's a good way to support the channel as well. And uh, yeah, be sure to follow, subscribe, hit those like buttons. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.